What a journey. What a journey. Wow, isn't this great to have a glass of wine together as friends and learning partners in this wonderful journey we had. You know, when I smell this wonderful wine, um, mm -hmm. it makes me think that this is a message in a bottle. Oh, wow. You know, and the message yeah. that I get from this, if mm -hmm. I think back about our Hagahelia journey, is that you know, teaching and learning is about as complex as the winemaking process. Mm -hmm. It's not only about the people, you know, our students, our teachers, our leaders, our deans. And it's not only about the process and the technology, you know, that we got such a, um, so much of during the Halga Hilia process. But it's also about things that sometimes not within our control at all. Mm like the weather you know what is the political climate in the country yeah. you know that uh, also has an effect on our climate in the university and also what is the environment like you know what is the resource infrastructure that we have available as teachers in the university and all of those things can make such a big difference between having a very successful academic year for our students or having a disastrous academic year mm -hmm. for our students. I never realized, I, I know we, our students come from different socio-economical mm -hmm. socio backgrounds, mm -hmm. but even the, the smaller details in, mm -hmm. in their, their backgrounds, how much of that influences their education mm -hmm. and their ability to learn. Mm -hmm. Yes. Absolutely. When we started, you remember all the check-ins and check-outs? Mm. Now, mm. Um, I mean, an icebreaker is something that I knew. We use mm. it in training and, and whatso whatsoever. But it, it was just something that you had to do and you, you rush through. And when we started with Haga Heila, in the beginning for me, also the check-ins and the check-outs, they were there and they were fun, but they didn't really... I, I couldn't really understand the essence, but then in our teaching project where you have to build in check-ins and check-outs and you have a specific time, one thing that came up with me is I can't just use a check-in and a check-out that doesn't contribute. And mm. you remember the whole mm. time we talked about alignment, alignment mm. from your objectives through to your assessment, everything mm. must be aligned. Mm. So in my mind it said, well, if I start with a check-in and I end with a check-out, then it means everything must be aligned. Yeah. So um, in my last teaching project, um, one where I did a presentation, mm. I used the check-in and the check-out as part of my um, whole lecture. And I think that that in the end was the highlight of the lecture. So I must say that is something that I will take mm. forward with mm. me from, mm. uh, fr from mm. Haga Heila. And that is to have always check-ins and check-outs. But for me, my check-in and my check-out will also align um, with yeah. what I am doing. Mm. I think to me the most the most funny part was actually the, the playing part. Um, in our apartment we call it Hachahilia is play play. Play play. And, um, <laughs> the way I grew up we never played in school or in varsity mm -hmm. so doing, mm. doing um, mm. all these role plays and um, yeah, all these funny things. It, Fun it, it's, it's, not, it's not part of my mm. uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's difficult for me, but at the end I can see the value of the play mm. for mm. our students. Mm. I think they really enjoy that, but then maybe more important to me as a person, I think meeting different people, meeting, meeting you guys, mm. um, which I haven't known before, mm. um, that, mm. that, really, that really made this whole process a nice one With for me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Talking about play, isn't it ironic how children learn through play yeah. and they enjoy it? No, it's and true. When they come to the, get to the age of five or six, mm -hmm. shove them into a school and you take the fun out of a learning mm -hmm. experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But 40 years ago yes. it, it, it was like that. Yeah. It, it's still like that. But it's still like wasn't that. supposed yeah. to be fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, no. If you were no, having no. fun, you weren't a good. You weren't learning, mm -hmm. apparently. Mm -hmm. And then for me, well, taking into consideration everything that's been said, <laughs> is the storyboard. Because I'm very visual, and I realize, you know, I think as you get 
as you start working through the years, you start working longer and longer, you kind of don't prepare as much for your lectures. Mm. Not that you, you know the content, mm. you know how, how to mm. pass on the knowledge, but mm. I think you forget, as the saying is, oh, don't tell me mm. how to do my job. If I, I worked 10 years to do something in 10 minutes, mm. um, 30 minutes when it's supposed to be an hour or something, you know that saying, I'm not mm. quite, I'm really paraphrasing there. But it's actually, you know, you shouldn't actually think like that. I think I'm against that because I realized when I did the storyboard, how much more smoother my classes went. And it also helps to get all these, like with you talk about the check-in and check-out mm. and the play, play techniques and so forth, mm. that you can actually have it down in a visual format and structured. It really actually does heighten your classes. It makes you more prepared. Mm -mm. It makes sure you yes. bring everything. Mm. And um, mm. to have that visual board and to have mm. it process and also to get mm. your content done. Mm. Absolutely. Um, yeah. um, in the kind of frame that you need to have it mm. done. Mm. And I actually got the, the, the students were actually com um, complimenting me like, oh, your classes were so much fun. We did all these activities. Mm. So if you think about it, who are we doing it for? And it is for the mm. students because that's mm. what, at the end of the day, this is their experience. Mm. 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 Yeah. Regardless mm. of how long we've been doing it, yeah. it's, well, it's supposed to be three to four to five years for yeah. them. Mm. We, it's, so it's a bit, it's who, it benefits us, yes. Yeah. Um, but we got to, it's, it's, mm. it's, you think about the students and if they get a great experience out of it and they It's about something. their future. Yes. Yeah. Mm. And how they, how seeing it through their eyes. Oh. Yep. But based on what you've said now, it let me think, Tessie, you mm. talked a lot about reflections. Mm. Yes. I remember every time mm. we say you said reflections, mm. reflections. Yeah. Was that for you such yeah. a valuable... Yeah. I must say reflections was extremely valuable for me. And I realized how you, you can never be a good teacher without becoming a reflective teacher. Mm. That they, um, again, if I think about the message in the bottle, if yeah. you think about making a good wine, you know, it, it's sort of... There are times of very um, of lots of activity. I suppose yeah. when you when you want to make a, a, a good wine, you need you need to prune the vines. You need to um, give um, what fertilizer and whatever and, you and need to do. And there's also stages of a lot of patience. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then you there's time where you need to move out and you need to let the vine do the job it's supposed mm -hmm. to be doing to make yeah. a good uh, uh, wine. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's the same with uh, being a teacher. You know, you need to step back and look at the way you teach, and you need to think about mm -hmm. that and, and 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 think about what you're doing. Yeah. Because I think we often so much on default and just doing what we've mm -hmm. been used to doing the past 20 years or whatever. Mm -hmm. But really taking that learn, learning back and improving the mm -hmm. way you teach, teach and, yeah. and yeah, constantly thinking: Am I still doing the right thing? And going on that, I remember we kept asking, um, what must we do? We always were so focused on the results. Yeah. Yes. We were like, what must we do at the end? What is this mm -hmm. determination? What is this? Mm. What is this? And we realized it's about mm. the process it's as well. Because yeah. yeah. we were always, what, no, what, give us the instruction. What must we do? And they, yeah. we got quite frustrated mm. at yeah. times because mm. we didn't have direct mm -hmm. answers. And we were like, yeah. just trust the process. Mm. Just yeah. trust the process. process yeah. <laughs> and mm. you know what, with this whole reflection process story, I was, I must admit, in terms of this reflections things, writing my reflections, mm. a little bit irritated because I felt I'm a researcher, I'm writing the whole time. Mm. I'm an academic manager. In management you write reports the whole time. And now in Hila, I must also write my reflections. Yeah. Yeah. And then Irmeli gave me light in <coughs> contact week five because <coughs> I, the whole time I thought, okay, mm. reflections is writing. And then she just made a comment and it just opened up everything why must reflections be written she yeah. never said mm. it must be written she just said it has to be there i can draw a picture yeah. i can make an audio tape i can mm. and and then mm. i discuss uh, and that was for me a very big learning bulb mm. she never said everything must be written down mm. but we assumed everything must be written down and when she said that in contact for week five i just thought Wow, but yeah, here's the answer. I think no one said I must yeah. write. Yeah. I can mm. do all these other things. Mm. That is why I like yeah. this type of reflection because it's much mm. more me oh than writing. <laughs> 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 well, having a glass of wine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, <laughs> the, the wine also helps you to reflect very honestly, honestly yeah. <laughs> and easier. <laughs> to, 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 to enjoy. Please. Okay.